Probably one of the most long-awaited Squarespace features is finally here. You can transfer your Squarespace 7.0 site to 7.1 with a click of a button. Um, I will go through in this video exactly how to do it and I'll also show you what things didn't transfer and that you'll have to do manually, but honestly a lot of it transfers pretty well. I'm also going to go over 10 reasons why I think it will be worth your time to make this transfer. So first of all, let me quickly touch on some of the reasons why I think it's worth it to move to 7.1 if you're still using 7.0. Now, if you don't know what you're using, there is a way to figure it out. I'll link that article below. Um, but if you created your website in the past like two years, it's probably a 7.1 site. Um, and more specifically, you're probably using Fluid Engine as the builder, so you're good to go. But if you know you're on 7.0, this change will only work if you have a Bedford or Brine family template. If you had a designer design your website, they probably used one of those two because those were the most able to manipulate templates. Um, so that's the first thing that you should know. You want to move over to 7.1 because first of all, they're no longer updating 7.0. So anytime any new features or GDPR compliances or whatever is going on, those changes are going to be done to the 7.1 interface. And so you just, you want the latest and greatest, right? Um, second of all, it's way more user friendly. It does have a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get a hang of it, it's, you'll be very happy that you made that change. Um, you also don't need to use much coding at all to achieve a lot of really cool elements. Like if you want overlapping elements, like a photo and some text or um, so just so many things. You can have like curvy lines separating sections. Doesn't require co coding at all. Uh, number four is better SEO, um, kind of. Uh, I will link a freebie I have below that takes you through a three day course that I created. Again, it's free and it will show you how to go about doing proper SEO for your website. Now, one of the things that I love about Squarespace 7.1 when it comes to SEO is they have lazy loaded images so that if like an image is taking a long time to load, which decreases your like an SEO compatibility, right? Because Google's like, okay, this website's taking forever and they're gonna kind of bump you down in ranking, we'll call it. So you can implement a lazy load image. So you could even have like a video going and if it's taking too long on somebody's computer, the image will pop up instead. Um, also just like site speed, things like that. They're, it's more optimized for 7.1. So that is a really great reason right there to move over to 7.1. Initially, prior to the, them creating just this click of a button that I'm gonna show you, that was the biggest reason I said don't switch to 7.1 is because you had to recreate your whole website um, if you wanted to do that transfer, which would make you lose your SEO. Now, all that stuff, the content, all that is still on your website, so you will not lose your hard work for SEO um, that will all transfer to the new website. Five, um, there's just more design features and it's way easier to navigate the site styles. The interface is so much better. Six, you can add anything you want to sections of pages. And with 7.0, sometimes that was limited in terms of like the background and you would have to do it to like the whole page. It was just weird. You can go to design styles while editing any of your pages. Instead of like clicking out of the page editing and then going over to design styles, right on the page that you're editing, text or whatever, there's a little like um, paintbrush and you just click it and you can edit your design styles. It still will change it across the board, across your whole website, but you can access it from any page, which is great. Number nine, I think we're at nine, give or take. Um, you get 10 different theme styles that you can completely customize. So this just allows for so much flexibility, but also consistency because you're using one of those 10 theme styles across your website for each of those sections. Uh, and then finally, there's just more font options. This is probably like my favorite change with 7.1. With 7.0, you were only given like four, I think, um, like the heading, the paragraph, subheading. And with 7.1, you have four different headings that you can design. So an H1, H2, H3, and H4 um, that you can have be a different font or and a different color. And then you have three different paragraph, eight, like paragraph one, two, and three. So usually they get smaller and smaller. Um, I'm gonna link below a video I created 
and it's one of my most popular videos and this is how you edit site styles. I have it for 7.0, 7.1, and then for Fluid Engine. So depending on what you're using, click on the appropriate video, but that will show you my process to kind of creating a mood board more or less so that you then have all those set, those styles in terms of like color and fonts created prior to going about and like designing your whole website. So now we're going to click over and I'm just going to share my screen and show you exactly where this button is that you can just seamlessly go into 7.1. All right, so click on this update to version 7.1. And just so you know, you'll, your live 7.0 site will stay active uh, while you're making this change. Currently in beta, the cover and album pages, just so you know, might not transfer, but they should be fixing that cover page situation. It'll take a couple minutes to transfer everything over, so just hang on tight. All right, and now this is a 7.1 website. So we're gonna take a look at the current website and just see what things didn't transfer exactly how I would have liked. If you click this little arrow, you can see what it looks like in full screen. So we'll go to the live site now. And it looks like the fonts did not transfer. And this is because I used a custom font um, on the 7.0 website. So it's some of that coding stuff that's not transferring how I want. Um, as we scroll down, you'll see that that box that was around this image also didn't transfer. Again, that was a custom coded element. So I'll either have to recode it or just create something similar on 7.1. And let's look at some of the other pages and see what didn't go how we wanted. Here we are in the custom CSS. You can see I created a lot of different custom CSS um, using Squarespace block identifier. You can get like the code of that block and probably manipulate this all again, but I'm not gonna go into coding much. So I'm just gonna continue on with looking at things and making sure it all transferred how I want. That split navigation I think was also coded so that you can easily change up in 7.1. Let's make sure this gallery transferred over. Yep, it's got the sliding feature, so that looks good to go. We're gonna go into the processes page, and if you look at the processes page on the original site, it's a little bit more condensed. Um, I have spacer blocks, and you don't need to use spacer blocks on each side of like the FAQs. So although the FAQ transferred, that spacer block didn't, um, in 7.1, you can actually just change the size of every single element. You don't need to add spacer blocks, which is one of the most amazing things. Just continuing to check, here is um, just some basic information. Some of these lines, again, are longer. You can easily adjust the size of those in 7.1. The blog, that looks like it transferred pretty well. So yeah, it's just a lot of little things besides the code. And this was kind of a heavily coded website. Not heavily, but it did have quite a bit of code. So um, it's understandable that it wouldn't transfer over perfectly. If you didn't use any code, it would probably look quite similar. Okay, I hope you found that to be helpful. And um, just know that if you are previewing it and you're like, yeah, I don't want this. I want to stick with 7.0. You can definitely do that. You just undo it and it goes right back to your 7.0 website. Um, but once you do click over to 7.1, it will be a permanent change. So again, I hope you found this to be helpful. I will link below my three day SEO challenge so that once you make that change, or if you decide to stay on 7.0, um, you can implement SEO on your Squarespace website and start getting those leads straight from Google.